fair game, my friend. I told you I was gathering here. Didn't I say? Let me know it's him. Yes, it's him. You trust me, I trust you, right? This is the guy. This is the guy, the one I told you about. So, we can take these things off. Sorry, he's a great guy, but he doesn't know you like I do, you understand? So, you work for the American government? And you're an arms dealer? No, 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 Sergei, Sergei. He's independent defense coordinator, right? That's your very classy job. Listen, he's a friend. Those diamonds are for Bogdan. No, no, it's okay. You can have it. Whatever arrangements you made with my cousins between you and him, you want something from me? You pay. You misunderstand. I'm not buying. I'm selling. You're selling? <laughs> selling what? The future. Yeah, I got all I need. Thank you. Our countries are on the brink of war. War is very good for business. Nuclear war? Go on. I'm looking for a man named Kurt Hendricks. You may know him as Cobalt. In either case, I think you know what he wants. I'll bet he even tried to buy it from you at some point. Go on. He has a case, he has codes. But they're worthless without a tactical satellite. I want to know where you get it. A man with information like that would be a potential terrorist. And to your government, a potential terrorist is a terrorist. If you help me, my friends become your friends. Sorry, I cannot help you. I certainly cannot tell you that Russia quietly sold an obsolete technical satellite to a certain telecom in Mumbai. And whoever gave him that idea? <laughs> An enterprising third party. Working on commission. Helping old friends, making new ones. Can the satellite be shut down? That would take special skills. You cannot do it alone. 